This video is a continuation from the previous video. Um, in the first one, we learned how to paint on the layer associated with the coloring for that sprite. I've now moved over to the one next to him, which is my lower left, and I've selected the color sprite layer here. And another thing that you can do, all right, we, we worked with the paintbrush. Another thing you can do is work with shapes, okay? The rectangle tool is usually the default shape. It has a pull-out corner here. If you pull this out, you can select different shapes and work with shapes to create color. Now, it's not going to stick to my color layer here. It's going to create its own layer. So, let's say I decide I want to do this with my character, right? And it opens all of this, and it's created this layer. It actually did it on there. Oh, that's interesting. It usually doesn't. Usually it'll create its own layer. So if I come in here and I create another, say I want to work with another shape, and I'm going to change the color on this new shape, and create a new shape, it should have created as a whole separate layer. Yeah, it did. It created as a rectangle. So I'm going to bring this down. to work with this and rename it, okay? So now that I have all of these, what I can do is select them by hitting the control, layer, merge shapes, and it will create it into my one shape. Now the problem is it's changed my color, okay? So you gotta be careful. So if you don't want it to do that, don't do this. All right? So I can change these and make sure that I call this something that knows that it references this layer. All right, so what I'm gonna do with my layers, I'm gonna select them both, let's see, and change them both to overlay. It will let me do that. I can select all of them so they're the same. And so you can see more what, let's do lighten, uh, darker color. Okay, and so you can use shapes to work with blending modes to create additional colors. You don't, you don't necessarily have to paint. Andy Warhol painted over it, and you can do that, but you can also do your own style. As long as you're working in that pop art style, and the pop art style, obviously, we work with bright colors, we work with this sort of cartoonishness, um, we work with a lot of other things that allow the style to reflect the, the, the a, uh, attributes, the parameters of that style. Okay, so this is how to get started. Um, take a stab at it, work on it, and let me know if you have any questions. You're going to play around a little bit. Don't be afraid to take some, some known risks. You know, just don't go randomly pushing things. But work with the, within the parameters that I've shown you scroll things back and forth, see how they look, try different blending modes, play around with the opacity, see what you get, and see how you can start to turn your own image into something that is a work of art. And I'm going to zoom out. Actually, I'm going to fit on screen. Oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take it way down over there. It's not working with me today. You know, it never decides to do weird things until I get on camera. There we go. Now I can see them. Okay? And start working on your own document. Have fun!